Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Inheritance. It has been a long time since I recorded, probably like close to 10 days I think, or more for this series. Uh, I still do have a couple of episodes in the can for um, the Duelist and the uh, Royals, but I thought I would get one of these, one or two of these out and done. We'll probably see this one before you see those other ones. Um, I'm going to try and get as many done. I, I've been extremely busy for the past couple of weeks. Um, so I haven't been able to record, but um, we're going to get this done. Now, I went ahead and accepted the uh, the contract for the planet. I have no idea what the, the situation, I didn't even read it. I was like, yeah, let's just take the three skull contract. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Like I kind of went back and watched the end of the last episode to see what I was doing. But uh, I just figured, why not? We'll take this one and see what we can come up with. Just roll a dice and see what we get. Now, um, that being said, uh, the Marauder did take some damage at the end of the last episode. Um, but I don't know what I re ended up replacing the um, supercharger with. I can't remember if we had the rocket pack on here or not. I may have added a heat sink and a rocket pack. I can't remember what I did. I'm sure I did something, but I don't remember what it was. But everything else I kind of left the same. And I think the other max we just left the same. So that being said, let's just uh, leave this guy for now. And let's go ahead and wait the one day here. And we'll figure out what we're getting for our contract. All right, um, settling a grudge. Uh, okay, details provided on route, let's go. And we're gonna go, we need money for the end of the month. So I really have no idea what to expect here. I don't, I don't even know who we're fighting. Oh, uh, Lyran, Com Lyran Commonwealth. I still wanna call these Delirians. Like I wanna add an I-A-N at the end, Lyrian. It just sounds better to me. Um, 315, 312 is probably good. We keep the cash. We'll be able to make our financial report plus repairs. That's probably good. I think 312 is probably the best to go here. So let's go with that. Because, I mean, the difference is like 400,000, and we're only going to get three random pieces of salvage. They're not going to be worth 400,000, so uh, it's fine. All right, now, let's see what we got here. I think we just leave everything the same. Who do I have? I got Sturm on here. Okay, that's why it didn't show up. I was trying to figure out who I had piloting the Marauder. And no pilot said had any any affinities for the Marauder, but Sturm's got three already, so it's just not showing up in his uh his thing here. So this is a three and a half skull mission, which isn't bad in the tundra, and we're two and a half. Alright, and vehicle wise, we were doing okay. Now we've got the ability no, we don't have the ability to drop anymore, I don't think. I think we've got What's that? We have a maximum of 400. Oh, maybe we can. I can't remember if I added enough to be able to do that. Yeah, I think we actually can. Now, the question is, what do we drop? Cloudbuster, pair of AC-5s, the Joust, ATM-9, ER Lord. What are we looking for? Move? This guy's got pretty good armor, too. 5.8. Cloudbuster's slow. It's 4.6, right? Zori is pretty fast, but lightly armored. Lightly armed, too. I think we take the Joust. Because worst case scenario, I mean, we can just sit back from from whatever long range and just use the ER large. So let's take that. Now, who do we have? We didn't have anybody piloting it, did we? It was one of these pilots we had, I think, before. Zoria SM. Was it Mothman that was piloting it? Come on, buddy. No. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I can't remember. But we'll take our best pilot. We'll just take Lethal. Minus one recoil, one OP accuracy. Do you have anybody that's better? Hellcat. Um, bonus initiative. Bonus health. Um, five, got six. Chances are you'll have less chance of punching out, so let's go with you. Let's get her done. Let's do this. Command interface initiated. Well, it looks like they got at least two lances. Um... Move forward, acquire a target lance, and light them up. But they got they got reinforcements, and I wonder if they're going to get another lance too. They're starting with two, and we're in bad positioning. It's this map. Ah, okay. Um, can I get any kind of hill? Yeah. See, there's no. Oh, I can. I can get. Up. Oh, I can't get up over here. So it leads me to believe they're going to get reinforcements from this direction, because I can't. I can't deploy here. 
which means they've got another lance. There's three lances. It's all going to depend on what they have. I don't like starting down below them, but I, can, I don't think I can get up here, can I? Oh, I can. I can start behind them. I think we got to do that, and we got to just have to push them really, really hard and smash these guys as fast as they can before the reinforcements show up. Starting down here will be a death sentence. I mean, we could... I mean, the other way to do this, too, would be to start over here. As far as we can go. And then push into here, try and kill their support lances first. But the problem then is we got everybody shooting at us. Mm, let's take them head on. Forget it. Let's just do it. See what happens. I haven't played in a while. I'm itching to play. Let's just do this. Fingers crossed. Three and a half skulls. Mostly mediums, probably. A few heavies. Looks like that's a vehicle, which is a good thing for us. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. Yeah. Three lances. And it looks like... A lot of lighter stuff here. Padilla. So we can try and kill that Orion. Okay, it's not lighter. Centurion. Hornet. Condor Mark II. That's kind of like a media, like a mediocre... But that quick cell could have a bunch of rockets, maybe. Blackhawk. KU. Oh, that's some parts I want. Uh, four, eight. A Rommel. So four vehicles, four mechs. And then what do we got over here? LRM carrier. Okay, we're going to get pummeled from distance. So we're going to have to... Mm. So the Padilla and the Orion got to go down fast. The Blackhawk's our next target, I think. The Rommel, I think, probably got an AC-10. It's a Mark II, but... I don't know what else it's got on it. Centurion's a bit of a brawler, but shouldn't be too much of a problem bringing him down, especially if we backstab his ass. This guy's a thumper, so we're going to have to split up as best we can here. Alright. Um, Standing by. Yeah, we're just going to go after these guys right, right off the bat here. Uh, Wolverine... Yeah, it's mediocre. Mediocre, but let's do it. Wolverine's pretty tough. It's got the spall liner and everything in it too, so I can take a half decent amount of damage. That's not bad. I'll take that shot. Uh, I'm gonna move the tagger up. I know it doesn't matter at all, but psychologically it's a you know it matters. Goss rifle, okay. Thousand armor. Wow, that's uh that's pretty beefy. 65 tonner. Probably got a 4-6 movement, so... Target lock on enemy's rear. Ooh, three laser hits. Nice. If we can apply a lot of damage to this guy early, we might be able to kill him. That was mostly rear stuff. So, okay, I know I've been commenting, and, I, and people have said this to me multiple times. I'm going to clear it up here, because... I think the last time the pers this person... I don't remember who it was, and I apologize, I'm terrible with names. Somebody explained it in the comments section. So, when you're firing from the rear, um, the game is smart enough to know roughly your positioning based... Like, so, like, if I'm directly, directly behind him, it's more likely that I will hit directly, directly behind him. But whereas if I'm kind of, like, like behind and off to the side, there is a chance that I could hit the side, like, this side more so than the back. Does that make sense? I mean, it, it's... I think it's an intuitive way of doing it, uh, and it makes a lot of sense. And the way the person described it, it made a lot of sense to me. So, um, I'm gonna try from now on, to, when I'm doing my positioning for the rear, to try and get directly in, in line behind the target, just to see. So the Cephalus is pretty much staring right up this guy's exhaust pipe. Pretty much. So when I do hit, like the Wolverine wasn't directly behind him. So that's, I'm kind of shocked that we hit a bunch on the back. Hit turret too. Turret and back. So let's see what happens here. We should hit at least one or two of these probably. Yeah, four. Target acquired. Beautiful. So I'll look here in a second. Yeah, so that was another turret hit. And the back. And a side. <laughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, I don't know. Yes, Commander. It's weird. It just seemed like that every time I would shoot from the back or shoot from the front, it would always Copy hit. That. 
like a side. And if I was shooting from the side, it would hit the front of the back. And it wasn't every time. It just seemed like it more often than not. That was, that's what would happen. All right. Um, do I want to use... I want to kill this guy. I gotta worry about ammo on this guy. So that's the one thing we gotta think about. Structure exposed. Nice. Beautiful. Enemy down. Cool. So what I want to try and do with this guy too. Now that uh, now that I've been thinking more and more about what we have and what we've been doing, the Talos is pretty slow. So I'm gonna have him shoot a fair bit. Uh, let's get you. We get you to a position to fire up here. We can. They're most likely gonna try and target you. Let's get up here. I am the wind. I'm gonna try and use. I'm not gonna worry too much about my ammo. And I'll just fire as much as I can, and then once I start to run out of, run out of uh, ammo, I'm going to push that mech to the front so that the enemy targets him. And use his armor um, as a secondary uh, sort of defense. So this guy's got a Gauss rifle. ER medium, LRM-10. It's not a bad lo loadout for a Centurion. But I don't know, 50 ton max, I'm, I'm not really big on, like, big massive weapons on them. Let's just take a shot at this guy. I'm gonna leave the ATGMs off and stuff. I want to fire at the or, uh, the Orion with those. Roger that. Yeah. See, 50 tons. Adding Take a 15 a ton Gauss rifle. Well, it's a light Gauss. So it's what 12? Wait, what's a light Gauss? It's 12, right? 11, 12. It isn't really that light. It, I think it fires farther than the regular Gauss rifle, though. But still, it's um, that's a lot of weight to be using up on on a all-or-nothing weapon. And it's nice if you got a good pilot and you got a great chance to hit, good targeting computers and stuff, then yeah, great. But when your chances are like in the 30%, you're better off adding two or three other weapons and hoping you get a hit every turn. I know it kind of spreads the damage out, but at the medium level, like if you think it's another uh, LRM carrier, at the medium mech weight, um, Waiting on you, Commander. That Gauss rifle, unless you get like a hunchback and shooting, and you're shooting it from behind, you're not going to get a one-shot kill off of that thing. It's just not going to happen. Um. All right, Griff, let's get up here. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. We're gonna maul this Orion real quick. But then you know when you got when you when you ha when you have your heavy mechs, it's nice to have those big hey. armor cracking weapons, because you're facing heavier mechs and you want to be able to crack their armor as fast as possible, right? So I totally get it when you're, like, you're up in the uh, heavier um, in the heavier weight range, but what can I do for you? I don't know. It's funny. I've been watching a lot of MechWarrior Online um, gameplay, um, and there's. Uh -huh. One guy I can't remember the can't can't remember his name now. T X something or other. But um, I guess the uh, the new build is like loading up like fire starters with as many machine heavy machine guns and small pulse lasers as you can. And I guess they play in groups. Ooh, nice shot. And they've just like you know you get three or four of these guys Under in a group and they just destroy the enemy. Receive. I'm just shocked at how well those things handle the heat. I'm gonna get in the trees, I think. It's the same distance. Get a little extra protection for the Marauder. We're probably gonna go up this ridge line if we can with the Marauder. But yeah, it's, it was shocking how quickly they were pulling down their opponents. Like even as heavies and assaults, they just swarm them like bees and then just murder them. And the, the DPS is like moderate, it's not like amazing. But they're not doing like a... Ooh, that's a nice shot. It's the only guy that didn't move. That's why. Um, yeah, it's not, like it's, it's not like it's a ton of damage. I think they're, I think they're averaging like 560, 500 to 600 damage a pop. But the fact that they're limiting the enemy to like, you know, 70 to 80 damage each before they get killed. It's just, you don't, like, you don't have to get big scoring uh, damage when the enemy's not outputting anything, you know? 
So we got, what do we got here? We got ER standard and high explosive. Do we want to shoot? Where's that Padilla? Is that it there? 18. Thumper is an MML, th Thumper and MML threes, eh? Ah, uh, let's just start softening it. It's fine. Doesn't really matter who we shoot at. We're not gonna do a lot of damage anyway. Just gonna burn up the ER ammo first. We'll save the standard and the high explosive before when we close. Can start putting up some big numbers. Okay, so the joust is gonna be targeted, looks like. They gotta the enemy's gotta shy away from that. I just played a um so the uh, battle reports have still been going on since I've been, like, as I've been away too. It's been a little slower the past couple weeks just because of my schedule, but I ended up playing a match with, uh, with my, uh, Commander? um, B Lance of Hellspawn, and, uh, the enemy, the entire match, just targeted one of my vehicles. And they ended up losing because they spent the entire time targeting my vehicle. Which would, which I think had like four or five evasion, almost like in every move. I think it was a, yeah, it was my vedette, AC two vedette. They ca they kept shooting at it. I couldn't figure out why. That's actually a really nice chance to hit, man. That's the Orion. We wouldn't want. Yeah, let's go after the Orion. Let's just see if we can get him. Nice shot. Yeah, a little bit of damage. Probably arm. Yeah, torso and arm. We'll take it. That's that's a pretty nice softening them up. Yeah, it was a Yeah. It ended up being a a, a turkey shoot in the end, unfortunately. I don't like those battles because I mean like that like my medium lance is a pair of enforcers, an Enfield and a trebuchet. Um and the last um the last battle that we did was the was the lunar battle, and that that lance got mauled in its first fight. It lost two mechs, uh, and my I think I had one vehicle at that time and lost my vehicle um, simply because it got um, like I lost the pilots too because we ended up facing like six nid nidhogs in a match. Nice, we landed the shot. Beautiful. I hear you. All right, Griff. Um, yeah, so it got mauled and ended up, ended up being down to two, and I was able to finally move out a cataphract that I had built to support them. So it ended up being the, the, an enforcer, which was down to a rack five, and um, my second enforcer with the uh, AC-10 with incendiary ammo and a couple medium lasers, and then the cataphract, I think, which had an LBX-20 or something. So it wasn't too bad with three mechs. But, I mean, that's the lance I took out again. And uh, it's it's fun because they're not yeah, really it, like the lance isn't overpowered in any kind of way. Um, so like if I encountered a, uh, hmm, do I want to go after this guy? I think I do. Let's just do it. So if I encountered a um, a tough lance, they could easily dis 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 like dismantle my guys without a problem. And I rebuilt my trebuchet from a LRM version to an SRM version. So I've got three SRM sixes now. It's pretty. It's actually fairly deadly. We got acid ammo and EMP Awaiting ammo. Order. It's pretty good. I didn't record the mission just simply because I was like, I was like so tired. I'm gonna get the Wolverine up this side. He's gonna try and kind of get in here. I think. Work. Work as a little bit of spaced armor. But yeah, the, the fight is slowly taking place now. We're on a we're on a, we're on a planet called Taft, where it's, it's fights slowly take, to go. Uh, taking form. The uh, players have finally gotten uh, close to the, ci the, uh, the city that they're uh, um, supposed to move into, and uh, they're like right on the border of the city now. The enemy has uh, got militia units in the city, and then there there's a uh, a regiment of uh, mercenaries that are moving in to, to help defend it. But yeah, the, the, the battles are going to start to get uh, interesting. I'm not going to say too much about it. I, mean, I can't really say too much about it because I'll just give away what the enemy plan is. I can't do that because there's obviously players listening, so <laughs> I can't give away the plan. But I, I, I pre-set up the battle ahead of time. I, I plan the enemies, all the enemies' movements ahead of time. 
and what they're what they intend on doing and then they just end up reacting to what they can see like on the map or of like what the players are doing they'll kind of react to it but if they if they if they can't see any of the players then they just stick to the 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 uh, plan i've got laid out for them waiting for orders for their defense because there's no way they could know what the players have intended right i mean i can i mean i can kind of read what the players are doing um, and i know what their intents are but i can't let that cloud my decision based on you know like i can't let that cloud the enemy decision it's the, their decision's always going to be based on the preset battle plan unless something changes right so and then it's going to be a common sense change oof somebody wants to actually do a lot of damage as opposed to do splash or maybe they can't do splash Club, no. you need to move quickly i, I want to i want to get you after this guy but i don't know what this guy's rocking yet let's start getting some speed though to get some evasion up let's get over here so the blackhawks from what i remember generally have like a lot of arm lasers if i'm not mistaken so this guy's got two energy two ballistic I have no idea what those are. Orders. This is the KU though, so I don't know what that would be. Um, so you are my joust, and they're going to want to shoot you. Let's get into here. We're going to take a shot at the vehicle, I think. We're going to try to turn our front towards the enemy here if we can. Okay, quick sell Vidette. What are we looking at for HE here? 64, eh? 170? So let's not go crazy. Let's go for a better chance to hit. Try and land more Locked shots. I'm going to try and save those HE for when we're nice and close. Give us our best chance to hit with them. Oof, that guy's pretty accurate. Give him that. He's hit this guy twice. Damage is light. He's dropping his uh, instability too, which is unfortunate for us, but. All right, what was that? Reporting minimal damage. Okay, you can cut it out now. Better not be a minefield. Light MRM carrier. I don't know where the rest of these guys went to. Yeah, see, it's confusing. I know you got indirect, but my first thought when I when I brought the uh, Cephalus up over here is, oh no, the Centurion is going to try and shoot this guy. I mean, we, I know, granted, we got a lot of stealth and we got a lot of, of um, evasion, but you would think the Centurion would want to go for direct fire with his Goss rifle more than plinking a vehicle at distance with an LRM-10, because now he's got his back to me, right? He's pretty much ensured that he's going to die. Orders. All right, buddy. Um, let's get you. We can't get up on the ridge, unfortunately. Doesn't look like we can get any, any kind of direct fire shot here either. Let's get into here in case that Orion crests. On the move. Full speed. I could have waited just to see if he did, but we got plenty of guys. I'm not worried about it. 22% in the Padilla. 15 on you because you're a little closer, I think. Um, 17 on the Hornet. What's it on the Condor? 15? Alright, what, what was the best one? 22, wasn't it? On the Thumper? 9. 15. 17 on the Hornet. 30 on the Centurion. We'll take that one. Got it. Yeah, well. Gotta try. I don't think we'll use up all our ammo in this battle. They don't got the juice to uh, to last that long against us, I don't think. Not with the choices that they're making here. Um, yeah, I have to say, I don't know. I mean, once again, kudos to the Rotec team. Game is awesome. Right? Uh, but I think the AI is probably, for me anyway, at least it seems for me, is a little weaker than it was before. Not exactly sure why that is. Maybe it's just I'm feeling that way. I don't know. Could be wrong. What's up? 
Yo, what's up? I'm just going to walk up here behind you if you don't mind and uh, put everything into your back. Simply because I can. Um, I know this doesn't matter, but I'm going to do this anyway. There we go. Giving them everything I've got. Oh, you got a mask too, eh? Connection, that one. No SRMs remaining. Yes, yeah, right. you don't need them anymore. These guys over here are going to be ranged weapon kills. I hope this joust survives. We're going to have to pull back. Yes, Commander. It's okay, you did his job. Uh, Wolverine. On my way. Double time. I'm running the risk here that Ryan coming up and trying to get a back strike on me, but I just don't think it will. So the Vedette Quick Cell has got the small Rex lasers, which I don't really care about. Uh, how are you for armor? We're shooting from the front, so 160. Can try and kill this Hornet. Yeah, he's pretty damaged on the one side here. Let's see if we can just finish him up. Show me your war face. Not a kill, but enough to put him out of the battle, hit. pretty much. I think we let the uh, SM1 take care of them with the Ultra 20. That's how you have to kill Hornets with the Ultra 20. Waiting on you, Commander. All right, Mermy. Uh, can you get around behind the scent? You can, but you're behind me as well. Mm, oh, you can get right here too. Do we tempt that Orion to shoot at us though? That's the question. I don't think he will. Don't I think he's going to go after the Nidhogg. I'm going to roll the bones. Two chevrons. We got stealth too, though, so we should be okay. Uh, I want to finish this guy off. Hey, buddy! Behind you! And stay down! See ya! All right, that's the Black Hawk. So I thought there was, maybe there, maybe it was the MRM carrier I saw move up instead of a second LRM carrier. Okay, the Vedette is not doing anything. I'm receiving you. I have a feeling. I'm gonna do this, here's what I wanna do. I'm gonna bring this guy down here because it's going to hopefully prompt the Orion to move towards him and take a shot at him. And that should turn his back, in theory. We're surrounding him now, so I mean, he's got to make a choice of what he's going to do. Like, really, he should just back up and do the best he can to not die, but um, he's probably going to turn and fight this guy. But we'll see. We're going to fire everything at this thing. Ooh, Ghost Rifle hit. Nice. Every time I talk smack about those Gauss Rifles, they start to hit. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to load up all my mechs with Gauss Rifles and then just talk smack non-stop. Just to see how well we do. <laughs> I'd laugh if I actually did that and then just rocked the Gauss Rifles. And it just became a slaughter fest. Because you know what would happen is I would be overconfident. Then I would take a higher level match thinking we could handle it easily, easily enough with the Gauss Waiting Rifles. Then I just wouldn't hit with them at all. It's exactly what would happen. Got it. Story of my life. All right, let's just try and finish off this Hornet here. Uh, let's switch to HE though. Uh, wind these up to five. We've only got Tracer, right? Yeah. All right, here it comes. Taking the shot. All right, some good damage. Scored a critical hit. He's thinking twice about his life choices. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. I don't know what that Blackhawk's doing, though. Oh, okay. That's it. Okay. Losing lots of armor. He did a good job hitting that guy, though. Waiting for orders. Christ, are you ever going to get in the battle? Understood. Move I should have maybe come down this way. 
This marauder is so slow. It doesn't really fit my, my lance playstyle currently. Um, I'm not going to bother using the uh, capacitor on this. There's no point. See ya. Hostile removed. Yeah, I mean, I don't wouldn't really consider a, a hornet a hostile to you, buddy. It's more like a nuisance. Nuisance removed. I don't think that guy got to shoot, did he? He didn't fire anything. Usually, like they've got like a mortar or something, which is like one of those weak ass, um, or sorry, grenade launcher. Armor breach. Internal damage. Shit. Yeah, you gotta get out of there. Is that your front being damaged? It's your side. Oof, that's not good. I'm here. That is not good. Hmm. Let's okay, give him another target. Let's, go. let's give him something to worry about. 35 on this guy, though. Oh, well, <laughs> I can't say no to this. Let's wind these up a little bit. Here we go. What's up, buddy? Oh, Jess, what? Jess, too, eh? Yes, Commander. All right, you need to move a little more here. Let's just get over here. Moving to position. They're gonna try and claim the joust this turn, so. Eh. Yeah. I think that's a yes. Here it comes. On your tail. I'm out of long range missiles. Commander. This battle might have actually been a little tougher if we had, uh. That's pretty good. If we had, um, not brought our full lance, if we just brought uh, four and two, four max two vehicles, it might have been a little bit better of a fight, but this needs to go to the top because I do know that when the acid hits first, the d increased damage is applied to the rest of these, so. Oh, didn't look like it was there. Aye, aye. I know in the past that was always the case. Uh, do I want to kick this guy? Yeah, I can't. Too far away. So I'm slowly, with the Duelist series, I am slowly figuring out the melee mechanics. Ah, smart move or the tactical move? Smart move is to do this and shoot this guy in the side. Tactical move is to move forward and try and kill one of these two vehicles. Don't think the Vedette's got the juice to kill this guy from behind. Let's do this. I mean, this way, at least this way, the Vedette's got a um, another target to shoot at. Although you go on 17, so you can probably get out of there before he gets a chance to shoot. Nah, I should have thought of that. That's my bad. So, what do you, how are you doing here? Pretty good, actually. we want to go after you, or do I want to save that for the Ultra 20 and then maybe just shoot this guy? It's actually, I have decent loadout. It's a little weird, though. It's like a little bit of long, a little bit of medium, a little bit of short. Not really effective at all ranges, unfortunately, or one specific range. We'll do that. I hear you. All right, Grip. What do you think? What are you thinking, buddy? Got it. Thinking you want to take out this uh, no Orion with your first first shot in battle here, or do we want to go after this guy? Combat shotgun or second shot? I guess it is. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Yeah, let's just try to kill. There we go. Pilot lethal damage. Nice. Nice. I did see it. Well done, my friend. Well done. 
Mm, now what do we do? We go side or we go... No, let's stay down here. Directly from behind. Right up his arse. Try and get the best chance to hit here. On the move. Let's see if we can pen this guy. Heat management's a bit better on this guy. Yeah, some Someone else pointed out too that the... Um, the stealth, I keep forgetting that the stealth system on this, the chameleon, generates a shit ton of heat, right? And it's active all the time, so it's plus 15 heat for turn automatically. So I keep forgetting that I'm at, every time I'm firing, I'm, I'm increasing, like every turn I'm, I'm down 15 heat, and then I get plus 15% heat generated by weapons fire. So it does run really hot, although it's doing really well in the cold environment here. Um... I just gotta keep remembering that because I, I keep saying, oh, it's so damn hot and whatever, but I should know better. You'd think that after playing this game for so damn long, I'd know better, but. That's yeah, me. You know me. It's always more fun to just. I hear ya. <laughs> it's always more fun to just bitch and complain about stuff. Alright, let's move in. Because it you know, obviously Double can't time. be my fault, right? It's, it's not nothing I'm doing wrong. <laughs> oh man I know too many people that are like that that are just like it's never my fault can't be my fault well in this case I know for a fact it's my fault uh, let's go with the tandems as well I want this guy gone let's just shoot some tandems on him here we go didn't penetrate but that's fine as soon as we do hopefully I'll kill that side it's pretty close though. That Blackhawks is so far to the battle. Yeah, it's not bad. Good to go. All right, lethal. Let's um. So wait, I gotta move my right side mostly to the enemy. So the left side can't even be like. Yeah, so something like that. On it. It can't even be like in any firing arc, so it has to be absolutely away from everything. So that's HE, we don't want that, we want uh, probably standard. 32, but I think I need the ER for that guy. Still 32. Can I? Uh, my turret won't turn that far. Okay, well, we'll just go with standard on this guy. It's fine. Get a little bit of damage. I'm not really afraid of three small Rex lasers, so. That thing could be dangerous if it's, if it's fast. I think the Rex lasers, the small ones, do 20. Is it 25 a pop? Or 30 a pop? Something like that, I'm pretty sure they do. Hey. What do you think? 55. I gotta move though, I can't just sit there. Get in the trees, we're not going that far, so let's just go after this guy. Yeah, just machine guns. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough, we still got the Marauder. But this guy goes before the Marauder, so I don't know. We'll see. It looks like the uh, Thumper is gonna get out of there too. Even though we've completely overrun his position, he's still going to get out of here. Still going to get out of there. Oh, so they do 15 damage each. So not really worth it then. I mean, that's not bad range. But it's kind of a waste of a vehicle with three Rex lasers. Especially if it's a hover vehicle and it's not moving very far. I mean, it's great in the open, I guess, but I don't know where that condor is going. They're just, like, delaying the game. So I turned the fog off yep. in the settings. I tried leaving it on. Oh, I can't even get down here. I tried leaving it on, and I was having a really hard time like on a foggy map trying to see shit and it's just not even like I, I couldn't imagine how bad it would be for a recording so I just turned it off completely I'm, I'm pretty sure this battle is a foggy battle just because of that uh, but it's just turned off so I can at least and you guys can at least see what we're firing at it's not as realistic but eh whatever uh, how are we doing here for armor on the sides 
Not bad. I don't think I want to... Well, let's just use the rockets. Why not? Gotta use them at some point. There we go. There's the kill. That's a kill. Short-range missiles are out. That's all right. That's all right. I'll let you take on that Blackhawk. He probably has... Um, what are they called? The uh, large X pulses, one on each arm. It'd be kind of cool if he had, like, industrial strength armor, pair of shotguns, and two of those large X pulses. But he doesn't have hands, so I don't think, at least I don't think the Blackhawk has hands. I think they're, um, yeah, there's no hands on this thing. It's got, like, down to lower arm actuator, I think, and that's it. Awaiting orders. So we can't use the shotguns. Oh, how am I going to get down there? Do we just try and kill these guys from range, or do I... That's really gar... I mean, I'll send my... You know what? I'm gonna... Forget it. Let's just do this. Let's just make sure we kill this guy first. Let's go right here. I know we're in the, uh... We'll go. In the heat here, but that's fine. This thing is so well... Heat sink to not to worry. Yeah, see, even that... Geothermal's not doing really anything to this thing. Target. Not bad. Not enough for a kill, though. All right. Orders. I think what we'll do is we'll drop our um, we'll drop our recoil off of the SM1, and we'll just go after that thing with the machine guns on it. I think the Cephalus and the uh, Jenner should be able to handle these guys down here. Forty percent with the tag. Let's go with the tag on this guy. Tactical missile carrier, eh? That's a lot of missiles. And that's like really, uh... It better not be SRMs. It better not be rockets. I know there's somebody out there going, what can I do for Yeah, you? man, you're dead. You're all, you're gonna die. I think I can get down here. This guy did. So let's move this way. Going turbo. The Griffin 2C, the Jenner, and the uh, the Cephalus have got more than enough firepower to blow these guys up. As long as this guy's not an SRM carrier. Okay, nobody. Good to go. Nobody moved. Interesting. So we can get down there. You're just everything's out of range. Well, the Blackhawk can see you. But I think you're going to be fine. You're fast enough, stealthy enough. The Blackhawk shoots. We'll at least get an idea of what weapons it has. Be nice if we can get more heat sinking on this thing. Get some ER mediums in here. I mean, I guess the other option is to, you know, go what I with what I kind of was shying away with from before is uh, putting a targeting computer in and a plus one to hit and dropping the. Four regular mediums and going, or sorry, the six regular mediums and going to four ER mediums. I mean, that's a possibility. Aye, aye. It'll add a little bit of um, long range firepower, but be far less deadly close in. Okay, I gotta get you up on a hill here. I gotta figure out a way to balance my loadout a little better, I think. Where's the Jess? I'm gonna fire at this guy because he's got a lot of armor. Hopefully, we can take, take some off before the other guys get up here. Nope. I want to try and get some HE ammo for this thing too. It'd be nice to have like a, a half ton of regular and a half ton of, or one ton of regular, one ton of HE for situations like this. You keep running. Yeah, there's still these vehicles that are doing this too. Like you remember the hunters from before. They'll just get on a road and just take off. Damage looks like and I don't know why they they do that, but standing by. They've never done it in the past, so it's it was, it's a bit confusing to me why they would just like primitive go away. And I guess you could say maybe maybe you could chalk it up to them like panicking continuously, but 21 19 that's only a couple of percent difference. Let's go after the one that's going to matter if we hit it. Engaging target. Nope. 
That's fine. No luck. That's all right. We're gonna get him. Don't worry. Once we close, he's done. Unless he's full of rockets and SRMs, then it might be a bit of an issue. We gotta get the Marauder up on the hill, really, for long-range firepower and armor. Okay, those are MMLs. Light damage, Commander. Or MRMs, right? Was well, that the LRM carrier that fired at me? The MRM carrier. This guy, right? MRMs. Sure. Whatever works for you. What? No. You cannot get down here, so you're going to be stuck up here, too. I don't think you can get around. So you cannot go after this guy. Let's get into here. Oh boy, here we go. Give us the trams to drop our recoil anyway. Hopefully we can crest the hill and and fire. The Ultra has not jammed yet, but at least we can drop some recoil. So that's the one firing all these scatter missiles. They're shooting at me. Is he running Mars? He could be running Mars. Hopefully we can get over this hill here. Hmm. Do I just ping? We're on third. This is the last bit of our turn. These guys are going to be moving, so... Not bother. Standing by. Alright, lethal. Um... No, gotta have the full. There we go. Roger. Full side turned. Bumper, please. Acknowledged. We couldn't get the machine guns on this guy this turn. There we go. Beautiful. Hostile removed. Excellent. Man, they still got six left, eh? It would have been an interesting fight if we did start on this side, though. But not knowing what they had, it's like... You're really ro rolling the bones, you know? Long fires. And MMLs. That's kind of cool loadout. I mean, he's going to die horribly, but it's kind of a cool loadout. I can't... I, you know what? I can't... Uh, MRM carrier is going on 20. We're on 24. You know what? Um, let's just hold on for a second. These guys are pretty fast, so let let these two guys go. Because if I move forward now, this guy could get around and get a backstrike on me. I don't want that. Owens. Okay. That's the other one that was back there that I couldn't see. All right, let's go, Granite. Let's get into a direct fire situation. We'll post up and plaster somebody. That's actually not bad on the Owens. We can fire more, so let's go after this guy. He's got a pair of light peeps, I think. Or the, uh, like, yeah, like PC plus capacitor. Oh, I forgot he's got the AMS too. Well, we, we hit him with a couple anyway. It is an MRM, so it's like a little harder to hit. Waiting for orders. A little harder to hit with the AMS. Look at the speed. Look at the speed. Turn. Excellent. 21%. Just looking at the backstrike options here first before we do anything. 27's not bad. 
I think I will go for the better chance to hit this time. Because we might, if we hit, we might, ah, well, we won't destroy him. But at least we'll do some good damage. Nope. Missed. That's alright. Wasn't expecting much. Once you get a little closer, it'll be a little easier, I think. I think you're, you're being jammed by this guy, too, so... He's got that wide berth. Reporting. Minimal you damage. seem to be hitting okay, even though I have seven chevrons of evasion. Alright, tease your face. Alright, let's do this. If we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. On my way. Let's Double go on. do it. We should have enough resolve to get out of here. Let's go after the Jess. What's your armor? It's 175 on the side. Firing on Tags on. Nice. Good damage. I think we spread it around a little bit, but we've got a couple more guys to go still. I think once the uh, the Griffin and the Wolverine get up there and get some shots on the side, we might be able to take them out. Oof. I don't know, man. My evasion's Damn not helping minor, at all. Commander. But then again, I guess I am lower than them, technically, so... Waiting on you, Commander. I was kind of worried about that, but whatever. There we go. I know this Black Hawk can see us, but... Pedal to the metal. I think I'm okay with that. Uh, t uh, t PPCs. And AMSs. Interesting. It's an interesting loadout. Not my first choice, but whatever. Hell do I know. Um, I'm gonna throw the rockets up too. I want to get as much damage on this guy as possible. I had a little bit of extra damage, not much. All out of short range missiles, Commander. Lousy with the lasers, though. What the hell's going on, man? Oh, we did hit a bunch of them on the side, though. So we still got, what, the Wolverine is going when? That's the Rattlesnake. 17, 16, 16, 14. This guy's already gone. So yeah, I mean... Sure. Who's up? Condor? Yeah. Still going away. Fine, see ya. Just make sure you turn around and come back before uh, before the end of the battle, so at least we can shoot at you. Gonna pull a Nidhogg yes, back after this. Okay, you can't even get up to the front. Hmm. Well, order confirmed. not bad. Let's drop some sensors over there. Well, at least the sensors landed. I hear ya. All right, Romulo, let's get up here. Not the best chance to hit on this guy. Let's just get right to here. Pedal to the At least we're in striking distance next turn, you know? Yeah, hopefully we land with the, uh, the narc. Roger that. Firing on target. Nope. Alright, penned a little bit. All out of short range missiles, Commander. Yeah, I know. Thought we'd just shoot him anyway. I'm here. Now you! Okay, you can at least get over... Let's make this guy worry a little bit. Let's make him reassess his life choices here. Ooh, that's not bad. 27? I hit did we hit? We did hit. It said 20-something, but it had to be more than that. It had to land the full 100, even though it said 40% damage reduction. Unless he already had a damaged torso, which is 
possible, I guess. Standing by. Hey there, mother effer. What's up, yo? You got PPCs. I got PPCs. I got a PPC capacitor. Which we're going to turn on for this turn. And see how much damage we can do from behind. Taking the shot. Doesn't like look like it applied that much at all. So it's it was saying 43, but I think we did 50, which doesn't seem to be right. Increased by tw I don't know how we'd calculate the 20%. Commander. All right, ATMs on this guy. Or wait, who else can we shoot? Why do I have two lines? Who else is it targeting? Is it giving me different arcs for different ammo types? I mean, it's possible, I guess. Um, let's try and hit more. Firing on rear arc. Let's just use up his AMS ammo. That didn't hit. Nope. But you burned a bunch of, like a whole nother turn off his AMS. And that, Order. well, not immediately important. Okay, so you turned in the opposite direction. So can I get to your side? I can. Yeah. Copy that. Not ideal positioning, but we do have an opportunity to try and kill this guy. We can land the side shots. Locking on. Oof, good hits, but not not where we wanted them. Inflicted some heavy damage. All right, make him think or rethink his life choices. He goes on twelve, so we still do have kind of an opportunity to take him out. I don't know if we'll thirteen. I mean, I guess the. Um, the Joust might get a shot at it, maybe with the ERs. I don't think it's. I don't think it's uh, in range though. Ooh, not liking that rattlesnake, huh? You got nothing. You hear me? Oh, he's got something. He clobbered your ass. Aye, aye. Uh, Wolverine. Okay, let's get to here. We'll just see what our chances to hit are. Nah, mediocre. I mean, we can put the sensors down there, but let's take this shot here. Gonna leave this off. Uh, let's burn up his AMS. Mm, nah, why bother? Firing on target. Okay, good torso hit. Let's see what he does. Yeah, 40% damage reduction, which is why I'm confused. Did we already? We may have hit this guy's torso before. That wasn't a torso hit. What was that? CT, probably? No. Hmm. I don't know. We're hitting something anyway. Damn, you need to get the hell out of there, buddy. Someone might call this trouble. Yep. Good to go. With a capital T that rhymes with Z Not that stands way. for Zombie. Um, we shoot you? But you guys don't know where that reference was from. Throw it down in the comments below if you know where it's from, but that's, uh... Really old comedy. Like, 80s comedy. I think it was... I think it was the 80s. At least that's when I saw it. I'm pretty sure it was the shot mid-80s. Roger. Uh, shoot this guy. Try and get a kill on him. Panic level critical, though. All right. We could have tried to shoot this guy and try to get that side, but if what people were saying were true, that side's kind of over over here, so chances of hitting it would be pretty small. God 
Damn. Stop shooting me! Does it matter how evasive... Oh, a lot of turret hits. That's what it is. Armor, minus 90. <laughs> so we're okay, I mean, kind of okay armor-wise, but we're gonna just uh, do this. Double time, go. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk anything here. Let's go for a sweep on this one. Full clean kills. Nobody goes down. Everybody fights, nobody quits. Today, no Spartan dies. Of course, now that I said that. Yeah. That's smart. SM1 hasn't gone yet, so. What can I do for you? Smart move, buddy, smart move. A little harder for me to hit, but harder for them to hit me back, so we'll go to the trees here. Get a little bit of armor protection. Not much, but... 48 on you. It's not bad. Actually, we got the shotgun, so I'm gonna go after this guy. Hopefully it scatters and hits the side here. See what happens. Here it comes. Nope, but that should do it. There we go. Left side destroyed. Should have run when you had the chance. He should have. Waiting for orders. Well... This bastard has been, uh... Bothering you, so let's bother him. Printing. Let's do it our way, though. Having a showdown. Face off against them, shoot him straight Got in the it. back. It's funny, I can't remember what film that was. I think it was a... Hey. It was a I think it was Danny Glover was in it. Um... I'm pretty sure it, was, it may have been Danny Glover and Mel Gibson. Copy. And it was a Western movie. And they were talking about doing, like, having a duel against somebody. You were staring them down, facing them right in the back. <laughs> you shoot them in the back. And most and Westerns, like, like in the Wild West, from what I read and understand, most gunfights, like duels, were never fought, like, two guys in the middle of the street pulling guns on each other. It was shooting somebody when they're taking a crap or when they're like sleeping you know or putting one in the back when they just walk out a door because it's why would you put yourself at risk right and if you think about it it makes total sense like why would you give your opponent even the inkling of an opportunity to, to like kill you right you wouldn't so that's how most people died is they were like ooh I turn that off um most, most people died because they just um People would shoot them in the back or... Oh, you had a standard on you. Well, that's interesting. Roger that. That's totally interesting. I'm surprised they didn't deploy. One of them back. Well, that's a lot of misses for high percentage chances to hit. What has me worried is like really near my vehicle. Okay, the ER can hit most of these guys. You got AMS. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, let's go. Now let's just go with the ER. Let's just go for hits. There we go. A little bit of damage. It's nice. That hit something good. Oh yes, that's very nice. Sure. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about battle armor. I like the concept of battle armor, but how it's implemented, it's it's not working, you know? Because those guys could have jumped off at any time and like gone after the uh, Marauder. They would have at least stopped me from cresting the hill because I would have had to deal with them first, right? Because if, if I try to crest the hill and those guys are on me, they can just rip me apart. But I guess the AI is only going to get better. I mean, once the uh, Rotec team um, gets a chance to spend some time working on them, I mean, the AI I for them will only get better. Orders. But right now I'm just kind of reserving my... Uh, 
reserving my feelings on them. Hmm. Let's go after the MRM carrier. Firing on enemy position. One less. There we go. Let's get rid of that guy. Yes, Commander. Can you find this fucking condor? Please, please just kill the condor. Jesus Christ, where is it going? Like where? I want this battle to end. This thing is just like going on a joyride somewhere. What can I do for you? Oh, you know what you can do. Hey, Mambo, Mambo Italiano. You betcha. Take some pot shots at this guy. Maybe we can get him to bail out. Targeting enemy ships. Okay, Narc was on. That's good. I think that gives us plus two to hit with the Narc. Nice, Gary. Nice. Okay. Where are you? Well, you're pretty much done this turn. I think I'll give you the Wolverine. You're pretty damn accurate. I'll give you that. Although I didn't move, so. But they were hitting just as well when uh, Commander. my Nidhogs had, had seven chevrons of evasion. Confirmed. So he's pretty accurate. Let's see if we can kill this guy. If we land one, we should be able to do it, I think. Of course, that's a big if. Really? Really? Who do we got left? The Griffin. But I'm going to put him on the Jenner. He's like right at the edge of the map. Hi, right, Griff. Um, Going turbo. What's up, buddy? I got something for you. Hey, buddy. Behind you. Nice shooting. Gotcha. Yeah, finally happy with yep. this Griffin. Oh, yeah. Um. There we go. Coordinates received. Lousy chance to hit. I think we can do... Yeah, that has a chance to damage these things though, but... 50% chance to misfire. Mitigated by jam reduction, which I think for this guy is 10%. I'm gonna do it, just see what happens. I want these guys gone. I don't want them around anymore. Solid connection on that one. Okay, so it is. It, we did do a misfire on it. That's fine. Oh, you gotta move. Fair bit still. Move order. Get our Goss rifle firing at somebody here. See if we can land a shot. Oh, that's actually not bad percent chance to hit. Target. I thought for sure that that was gonna hit, but the uh, BTGMs no. hit. We need to move farther than that. Let's go to here. Moving to position. I'm not gonna fire the Ultra 20. Not with the Marauder standing there. You never know. My you didn't expect that. Really? With 95% chance you didn't expect that <laughs> at all? Well, at least they're uh, hitting a little bit. Orders. There's more than I can say for that Blackhawk. On it. Nothing. It's fine. I should move you up with the machine guns, but then, knowing my luck, waiting for orders. That guy would totally uh, shred you. Position control. All right. I know I should fire at the Condor, but I want these guys gone first, so. Score they got. Critical hit. It says 204. 
Looks like they got one left, though. Oh, the condor's finally turning around. I'm coming for you. Commander. Don't really need to vigilance it, but I'm going to. Let's just see how well we do here. Just going to do it one for initiative, but two just to get rid of the uh, that slight little bit of instability because I don't know what this guy's going to do to me here. That's not bad. Take that shot. Copy that. All right, we're started. LBX five and an LRM fifteen. So as long as we stay close, the LB if the LBX hits, it's going to do twenty five. Or sorry, 45. It won't scatter shot, so he's got a worse chance to hit. Yeah, we're coming for you though, buddy. We're coming for you. Standing by. Here we go. Much as I should shoot at that LRM carrier. We've got two other mechs down there that can do it. I want this guy gone. Confirmed. Tagger hit, though. At least it does nine damage. I feel like it did something. What can I do for you? Full speed. Full speed sounds good. Uh-huh. Got it. Okay, that's enough to kill that guy. Bang! You're dead. He is dead. Swarm attack. What do you need? Interesting. Oh, so he's on top of this guy now. So how do we deal with that? Um, we can't shoot them. On my way. Um, I mean, I guess technically we could. Let's do this. Sensors locked on. Okay, so we got lock on those guys. So whatever, ready for orders. Whoever is helping will at least be able to. Hmm. Definitely not going to be you, though. Let's see if we can get this Goss rifle in range for that Condor. I think we need somebody with hands, don't we? Or can we use... No. Huh. Going full throttle. I can't remember erratic maneuvering. Alright, so that's for the vehicle. Okay, so when she moves, she can try and strip them. Right. Right. I think I remember I remember reading go. that now. I know you're a friggin' long way away, but gotta get that guy killed. I'm here. So we do erratic maneuvering, confirm, and then we move to like here, like I'm that. Fine. I think we shook them, did we? We did. Okay, cool. Now we can just machine gun these guys and ultra 20 of them, because fuck them. Here we go. My machine guns are empty. Yeah, and the ultra 20 didn't hit either. Okay, well, we got a chance to finish them up. This bothers me, though, because, uh... Oh, man, you got half-decent armor. I'm gonna do this, put my back to the wall. She can't get behind me. Just shoot him. He's got a good chance to hit me back, though. Okay, tag's on. Two laser hits. Not bad. I'm 
okay for now. So he did swarm again. Where's Griff? Pedal to the metal. Yeah. Just not meddling fast enough. So did he he's actually swarming us again. Alright, see that's a smart move. See, battle armor could be effective, but they're not aye, aye. currently they're not being employed in the way they should be by the enemy. Which is why I was saying I think at some point probably the fall AI fall. will get better. At which point they'll be really dangerous. Waiting for orders. Because that's kind of how they should be. They should be like super, super dangerous, so that you Move. know, like you can't even risk anything, right? Like you don't want to even get close to them, you know? Like we we kind of don't want to get close to them fine. now, but uh, I'm gonna reserve you guys. Uh, reserve you. Let's get back here. Hopefully we'll drop that guy at some point. We did. Back here. Beautiful. Alright. Cool. Now we got a chance to yeah. just finish him up here. Yeah, see, that's... I mean, that's the first time I've had these guys attached to any of my mechs. It's actually pretty good, uh, pretty good right. dynamic. I like, kind of like it. Target eliminated. Receiving you. It's nice because it ties your mech up or the vehicle up for the turn, right? You're forced to like Roger. maneuver to try and get them off you. Waiting on you, Commander. Right. Let's finish up this condor. Got it. Yeah, sorry it's taking so long, guys, but like. Yes, Commander. The AI, man. The AI. Yes, Commander. Which I'm not complaining about. The AI is actually quite good in comparison. Alright, where are you primarily damaged? You've only got 73 armor at the back, so. I'm gonna get right on you. Gonna get right on you. We got the other two mechs coming up here in a second, so hopefully we land most of this stuff. Roger, Commander. Tags on. All right, three of them hit. I hear you. Got it. Max okay, a couple speed, turns no and we're shooting. on them. Yes, Commander. Uh, Thunderbolt's out of range, I guess. Got it. Yeah. This is just like de delaying the inevitable here. Ooh, nice shot. Good thing it was a cluster shot, though. Reporting heavy damage. Yeah, I saw that. Yes, Commander. He's getting out. He's getting into cluster range. Copy that. Might get lucky and get a lo long range shot here at him somewhere. Waiting for orders. Ooh, where did I see that? Right here. Ah, uh, that's only going to be the. Um, an arc launcher or something, so let's get up to here. Affirmative. I want those lasers in play as fast as possible. Ready for orders. Confirmed. Holding. Who's up? You can stay where you are. Ready for orders. You can Standing stay. By. I keep moving them in, but then I'm, and I'm, but I'm, now I'm thinking like I shouldn't because the rotor is so badly damaged that uh, that guy could finish finish us off real by. quick. He gets one shot at us. We'll go. Aye, aye. Smoking out. Yeah, it's just out of range. Awaiting orders. All right, kiddo. Um, stay behind him. On my way. Yeah, it's bizarre that this guy just wants to get out of here. He just has no desire to stay on the Sorry, map board. I don't blame him. There we go, finally. Whoo, nicely done. Mission successful. Alright, 1.4 million, beautiful. 
We killed those three lances, so we made like another 230,000, which is awesome. Uh, Steiner takes two points of loss in, in the flare-up. 490. That's nice. That's the bonus there, I guess. Zero additional salvage, but still, that's nice. Nice that they tell you that now, too. Okay, so... Cephalus took a bit of damage in the arm. Ooh. That's fine. We didn't get any components lost anywhere. I think everybody's fine here. Right? No components. Nobody took any real damage. The Marauders got to... Oh, yeah, the PPC's got to get fixed. Right. But that was my fault. I don't even think the Marauder was hit. Uh, okay, now... Um, Blackhawk. 60 tons. Intersphere version of the clan Blackhawk. So we've got, what, 16, 16 hard points. Omni, three parts, four parts. There's not enough to really put one full one together. Orion parts. I know we have some in storage, but this is the newer version of the Orion? Hmm. Let's just see what else is down here. Bolt-on AMS. Goss, LBX-10. I can't remember from before what I was looking to try and get. MRM-10s, though. I'm almost tempted to just grab... I don't think we... We don't have any MRM ammo, though. That's the thing. 250 core, light engine exchange. I want to take that. Ah, fire control system energy, too. This is nice. See, I prefer this over a regular targeting computer for the simple flat-out plus two to hit. As opposed to having to add an extra ton to get plus one to hit with energy weapons. I mean, later on, obviously, targeting computers are better, but earlier on, I, I find they, those are actually a little better. Um, three Guardian ECMs. Tracker sensors. I think we've, we don't actually have any of those. Slick Sweet. Some good stuff here. All right, any MRM ammo? No MRM ammo at all. Oh, a lot of LRM stuff, though. So they must have been shooting a swarm at us. Hydra. Oh, do I take the MRMs then? I mean, that's nice for a light, lightweight mech missile build. I don't know how often I'm going to see those, though. Especially five of them at once. Although, that really is a nice piece of kit that we could use. And so is the uh, energy accuracy. I mean, technically, this is just better overall. If you're just an energy boat. But if you're a multiple weapon boat, then this is better. I mean, you don't have a bonus at short range, but really this is for guys who, like, this would, this would work great in the um, Marauder, right? Because it's never going to close at short range at all. Of course, now that being said, we did kind of close at shorter range, but still. Hmm. I think I'm going to keep the MRMs. And we'll go that route and just see what happens here. Okay, two quick cell vedet parts. All right. Jess part. We did get a Blackhawk part. Okay, so not bad. Four LRM 10s, which we don't need. We can just go ahead and sell those. A couple of LRM 15s, which I don't think we're going to use. So let's just trash those for now. We'll keep that. We'll keep that. Oh, we got the track. Oh, we, yeah, we chose the tracker sensors, right? Slick Suite's really nice. That's going to go in somewhere. Tandem ammo is really nice, although it adds a jam chance, but still it's like, it's nice for killing vehicles with. Only 80 shots, though, so it's not too bad, I guess. Thunder ammo. All right, so that was actually not a bad roll for the number of uh, slots that we had. Well, 
38,000 is not bad. Seven days for repairs, though. That's a little long. Uh, that's probably total. We should probably get them back. Oh, yeah, I'll get it back faster than that. Four days at the most, but I don't know when the next um, drop is. It's usually you know, three days apart, isn't it? It's three days. So we're going to have to pass that one, unfortunately, which is really sucky. So three, hopefully we get another one. We should get another one. Wait, let's have a quick look at the uh, navigation here. Just I want to see what the um, results in the planet are. So we have 22 now. They're down to 15. Right? Yeah. So at least we're winning. So we should technically win this battle. Let's... Um, so what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm just going to get the mechs back. I'm not going to take the next contract, but I will take the one after that, just so we have all our mechs back. And we'll go from there and see how that works. I really like to uh, get a victory on this planet and hopefully get something half-decent. Because now that we are, like, allied with... Um, or at least at uh, max rep right now with uh, uh, Rasselhag, we should get something really good, I think, uh, once we finish. But I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to try to start doing, like, this, this is a Friday night for me, so I'm going to try to start doing uh, a bunch of episodes this weekend, so at least I'll be able to have something for every day next week and then hopefully get right back into the swing of things after that and, and be back to every single day posting again and, um, you know, only recording a couple of days before, a couple of episodes at a time. But we'll see how it goes, all right? Going to end the episode here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.